What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous seashell riverboard out of epoxy and a walnut slab. So let's get started. So I just cut this piece of 8th inch plexiglass on the bandsaw and that's what we're going to use as the bottom of our mold. So I got my hot glue gun heating up here and we're just going to tap these down to the plexiglass. Now the positioning of the second piece is very critical because it's going to determine how far apart our river is. So let's see here. I don't want it to be too small, but I don't want it to be way too big. So I'm thinking something like that. It's going to be good right there. So now that we've got the base on there, we need to make the sides, and I've already pre-cut some pieces of plexiglass for that, so let's just hot glue those right on. Stick a little bead here, stick a little bead there. And tack it on the sides. And the next side. So what we gotta do now is just put a base coat down, that way we can put our shells on top of that. So we're just using some Total Boat Epoxy for this. The link will be in the description down below for their website. They make some great products, they make great resin. I've used use their resin on many different projects and it's absolutely great so be sure to go check them out again the link will be in the description down below so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start laying all my shells in here in an orientation that looks good and then I'll pour another coat of resin over that I've got all my shells in there in an orientation that looks good, and what we're going to do now is just pour some resin over those, probably not even going up all the way over the top of them, but just enough resin to hold them in, and uh, then we'll wait for that to dry and put a couple more coats. Again, we're using some Total Boat Epoxy for this. And all we want to do right now is just get all these shells held in there. And now we can pour our third layer. So the third layer is almost dry, and when it's finally dry, we can put our last layer on the top. And now we can add our third, or no, this is the fourth layer. We can add our fourth and final layer of epoxy. Probably gonna need to mix up a little bit more. So we have a lot of excess epoxy to remove on our board. So what I've done is I've made this little DIY card scraper. Uh, just sharpen this thing, and it's actually working pretty well. I've already started a little bit, but we got a lot more to go. Alright guys, so using the combination of the belt sander, random orbit sander, and card scraper, I have managed to get our serving board perfectly flat. That's a very good thing. Now all we have to do is trim the ends, the sides, and we can really start to polish this resin and get this to a very nice glossy shine. Everything's sanded up to 220 grit. Now we're going to use this 500 grit and 1000 grit paper and we're going to wet sand that epoxy. So I'm just making sure to keep the wood very wet. You don't want there to be any friction or heat. And I'm also making sure to wipe off all that muddy, cloudy liquid. Because rubbing that stuff back in will just create more scratches, defeating the entire purpose of doing this. 
So what we need to start doing now is polishing up our epoxy. Now you can see just from the thousand grit paper that it's already kind of shiny, but we're going to use this micro mesh. The link will be in the description down below to the exact product that I used. We're going to use that micro mesh to polish this epoxy, hopefully to a glassy shine. So I got my board all masked off. That's just to keep water from getting all over this gorgeous walnut and raising the grain. We're going to start off with the roughest grit of micro mesh. Uh, this is in particular, this is the green, and uh, we're just going to get to wet sanding. Okay, so where are we at? I just finished up the last and final grit of the micro mesh all the way around the board. And I think the painter's tape really, really helped to keep a lot of that water off the wood. But it's still not perfect. So what I'm going to do is go back with some thousand grit paper and just sand the wood. Be very careful to just sand the wood on all sides. Then what I think we're going to do is take this down to the basement by the wood stove. Let all this water dry off. And then we can go ahead and put our final coat of finish and our feet on it. So already our riverboard is looking really, really sharp. For the top coat, we're going to use General Finish's Wood Bowl Finish. It's a great food safe finish. It's kind of glossy, not terribly glossy, which is kind of what I want. And it's really going to protect that wood and protect that resin. So I just applied our third coat to the top of our serving board, and it is starting to look really, really sharp. I love the way that the micro mesh really cleared up that epoxy, got rid of all of that cloudiness, and I think it looks absolutely great. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this project. I absolutely love the look of the sapwood and the walnut and all the shells and how it all turned out. I couldn't have done it without Total Boat Resin, so thank you so much to Total Boat Resin for sending out the epoxy used in this video. The link will be in the description down below to Total Boat's website if you want to purchase the epoxy that I use for this project. If you're not a subscriber of the channel already, I highly encourage you to do that. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please be sure to do that. I'll stick the name right here on the screen. It's Seth's Custom Creations. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff and stuff that doesn't get put on the YouTube channel on my Instagram, so you might want to check that out. And guys, I just launched my brand new website just a few weeks ago, and I highly encourage you to go check that out. There's a lot of information on there. There's products, all sorts of other stuff, so I encourage you to go check that out if you're even remotely interested. I'll see you guys next week.